You go on now. Move along. There's nothing for you to learn here. Grab a beer. Sit back in the recliner. Get that remote in your hand. Flip to your favorite programming. You've earned this. You've worked hard. All you want to do now is relax. Lay back. Lay way back. Slowly, slowly. Relax into the alpha state. And let the brainwashing continue. Christoph, let me ask you. Why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. The Hague for Christoph. Hello. It was Henry Ford who said, thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. For those of you who are through with Talmud vision and enjoy thinking, the next few minutes explains a common logical fallacy known as appealed to authority and is used by the spinning spear in-group against spinning spear deniers, the, the current out-group, and it also explains groupthink. Argument from authority is also known as an appeal to authority, an appeal to authority relies on an argument in the form of A. Is an authority on a particular topic? A. Says something about that topic? A. Is probably correct. Also, many of the ill-informed and uninformed will erroneously assume that someone who is a person of authority in one area or subject when they give their opinion in another field or on another subject in which they are not an expert, they are also correct in their opinion. Their opinion may or may not be based upon facts and evidence, but too many have been programmed by the constant exposure to propaganda by the mainstream media to rely on appearances, to rely on appearances and not the facts or the evidence because they themselves never check the facts or the evidence. Felicious examples of using the appeal include any appeal to authority used in the context of logical reasoning and appealing to the position of authority or authorities to dismiss evidence. These authorities can come to the wrong judgment through error, bias, dishonesty, or falling prey to groupthink. Thus, the appeal to authority is generally not a reliable argument for establishing facts. Groupthink is a psychological phenomenon that occurs within a group of people in which the desire for harmony or conformity in the group results in an irrational or dysfunctional decision-making outcome. Groupthink members try to minimize conflict and reach a consensus decision without critical evaluation of alternative viewpoints. They do this by actively suppressing dissenting viewpoints and by isolating themselves from outside influences. Loyalty to the group requires individuals to avoid raising controversial issues or, or alternative solutions, and there is a loss of individual creativity, uniqueness, and independent thinking. The dysfunctional group dynamics of the in-group produces an illusion of invulnerability, that is, an inflated certainty that the right decision has been made. Thus, the in-group significantly overrates its own abilities in decision-making and significantly underrates the abilities of its opponents, the out-group. 
Furthermore, groupthink can produce dehumanizing actions against the outgroup. These dehumanizing actions against the outgroup can be easily seen in the comment sections of many posts and videos on the internet. A good example is the spinning spear heliocentric in-group that will post all sorts of nasty comments directed towards the stationary flat earth geocentric out-group. Another example is the believers in the alleged Jewish Holocaust in-group have been programmed to label as anti-Semites, haters, and perhaps the worst label of all, an evil Nazi. Any holy cause denier, currently the foremost out-group. Some other labels used by the in-group against the out-group include an idiot, clowns, stupid, a nutcase, and he knows nothing about, and you fill in the blank, he lacks education, and by this the in-group means the out-group doesn't believe or accept what those in the in-group were taught and believe. Perhaps you can think of other labels. Cults, for example, are often guilty of group think. Right. Christoph, let me ask you, why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. The Hague for Christoph. Hello. You go on now. Move along. There's nothing for you to learn here. Grab a beer. Sit back in the recliner. Get that remote in your hand. Flip to your favorite programming. You've earned this. You've worked hard. All you want to do now is relax. Lay back. Lay way back. Slowly, slowly. Relax into the alpha state. And let the brainwashing continue. Right. Christoph, let me ask you. Why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. The Hague for Christoph. Hello. It's crucial to remember that people pay more attention to your demeanor than they do your evidence. That's right. And it's crucial to remember that people pay more attention to your demeanor than they do your evidence. That's right.